Hello mga kabiji um, Today, we will be discussing about sorghum grain Please, keep on watching guys Sorghum grain is the fifth major staple cereal after wheat, rice, maize, and barley It is cultivated worldwide in warmer climates and is an important food crop in semi-arid tropical areas of Africa, Asia, and Central America. Sorghum grain is a small, hard, covered by blooms. In grain sorghum, panicles are compact and bear 25,000 to 60,000 seeds per kilogram. Forage sorghum yields 120,000 to 160,000 seeds per kilogram. The whole grain can be boiled, roasted, popped, or ground to make flour for baking and pastry. Sorghum grain is used for the production of alcoholic beverages, including beer and liquors. Some sorghum varieties are used for dyeing textiles or leathers. In animal nutrition, grain sorghum is mostly used as an energy source and is a good feedstuff for poultry, pigs, and ruminants. The stalks remain after harvest can be grazed as some varieties stay green for a long period of time. Sorghum may also be grown for fodder, for grazing or cut green to make silage and hay. Sorghum is tolerant to drought because of its root system. It performs better than maize during drought and occupies areas unsuitable for maize and stress-prone semi-arid areas. It is tolerant of salinity and to some extent to water lagging for a short period. It is sensitive to frost and to sustained flooding. It is susceptible to weeds during its early stages of development. In Africa, a parasitic weed attaches itself to the roots and is particularly nauseous to sorghum. The grains have to be processed before being fed to cattle or else a large proportion of them will be swallowed whole and the waxy bran covering the grain will make digestion difficult. Grinding is the simplest, least expensive method of preparing sorghum grain for cattle. Other methods include dry rolling, steam rolling, flaking, and popping. All methods produced and products with different degrees of digestibility. Grain sorghum can be a high productive crop that requires adequate amounts of nitrogen fertilizer with potentially deleterious effects on soil and groundwater. However, under harsh economic conditions, it may be cultivated in rotation with a legume crop benefiting from the nitrogen provided by the legume. After harvest, Laughing and the stubble can improve the organic matter status of the soil and help limit erosion. When sown in 20 cm rows, sorghum gives good protection from soil erosion as a drought tolerant species. Sorghum improves water use efficiency while supporting relatively high levels of production in dairy cattle. Sorghum is tolerant of many pollutants and it thrives in toxic soils that kill most 
plants because of its penetrating root system. Sorghum also captures the nitrogen which may be exist in the soil, a property that has been useful in reclamation of fallow lands where waste have been discharged and where soil was very high in nutrition. Sorghum also thrives on salty irrigated soils. It restores the porosity of the soil, making it possible to grow a high-yielding wheat crop in one season. Sorghum can be used as a cover crop during the fall and winter. Soon during the fall, it covers more than 60% of the soil before winter and protects it from wind erosion. It also helps through sparing more water than other cover crops because it dies quickly after the first frosts and does not withdraw water from the soil. Sorghum has some detrimental effects on brood leaf weeds. Weeds are still effective after the sorghum has died. And this could be due to phenolics and cyanogenics released by the sorghum roots that hinder weed growth. Weed stalks of sorghum grain can provide support to climbing legumes several months after the grains is harvested.